Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Scott with Integrity, taking a break here from a busy day in the field. Had I, I, I saw so many different things today. It was That's the crazy part about IT. There's just no end to the variety, which is something that makes it great. I, I love the variety, it's so challenging. I saw a lot of problems, had to figure out how to solve them, and uh, solved them all, which I'm really happy about. But I wanna show you a software I discovered today that's totally nails. Uh, I love it. So I did a solid state drive upgrade for a client. I went from a 500 gig spinning disk drive to a 256 gig Samsung SSD. Now, when you're going from a large drive to a smaller drive, uh, there can be problems. Sometimes the clone doesn't work right. Also, there's some uh, road noise here. It's I'm right next to the Highway 101. It's like a block away. I'm just taking a nice little walk and it's a break. So. Anyway, when you're going from large drive to smaller drive, you have to shrink the partition first, okay? But you, a lot of times you can't get the partition as small as you want because there's a, what's called a movable objects. And so I've, I've done clones before where they just straight up didn't work, like they would not boot no matter what. So when I do these for clients, you know, you're always not quite sure if it's gonna work till it's done, right? So with this Samsung drive, it came with the software right here. It's called Samsung, Samsung Data Migration. And I was gonna use Macrium Reflect Free, which I normally use, but I've been having problems with it going from a large to a smaller drive. So I tried this, and you know what, it was nails. I installed it, it recognized the source drive, which was the one terabyte drive, or sorry, the 500 gigabyte drive. It recognized the SSD, which I had connected through a USB hard drive reader, which you can see in my other videos. Um, you could also just turn the computer off, disconnect the optical drive, and connect it that way so you have two drives, or if you have like an extra SATA cable and power cable, you do it that way, but the USB drive, is uh, external drive is really easy. So I did that, um, the program recognized it, I hit clone, I mean, I, I, I chose what uh, partitions to clone over, I did not re uh, clone over the recovery drive because I was concerned about having enough space, this has to do with partition size, I'm not gonna get into it. But I was like, I'll go with that recovery drive, I can live with it without it. Cloned it over, it took like 30 minutes, it, at first said it was gonna take 10 hours, but the transfer rate started to speed up, it took like 25 minutes, it was done, it, it asked me if I wanted to power off the computer and, and move the drive over. I said yes, powered it off. I disconnected the power cable, right? Disconnect the power cable from the power supply and I held down the power button for like 10 seconds until no, no lights would turn on anymore, okay? That's very important. You wanna drain all the power from the board, okay? And then I, I disconnected the existing drive. I uh, connected the solid state drive. Um, and one thing I did is I took the old drive and with the Sharpie, I labeled who it belonged to, the date it was migrated, and who did it, meaning me. And then I put it, uh, I put it in these folks' server room, okay? That way, you know, just in case, right? Just in case, you can never be too safe with data. Um, I plugged, I, so I plugged the computer back in, powered it up, it booted super fast, it was great, um, it was easy. Like, I'm, I'm totally going to download this, put it on a memory stick, put it in my, uh, my cloud software folder. If you find a program that can really nail uh, drive cloning with a good user interface, not like Clonezilla is nice, but it's, you know, you need to be a little comfortable with the kind of very simple interface. Like Macrium Free, super easy. Um, Samsung data migration was totally nails, did a great job, made me look good, gave the client a great product, um, I love it. But hey, I wanna tell you about that today because anytime there's a great product, I wanna share it with you. I know a lot of you are asking, how do I do it? What do I use? Um, I should probably make a video showing you exactly how you do it. There's so many problems you can have while you're doing it. Most importantly, make sure you got things backed up first. All right, that's it. Gonna go eat my lunch, gonna get back on the road. Got another client to go see, another great day. Hope you are doing great. If you have any questions, get at me in the comment section.